Uh, I'll do what I normally do. I don't have anything to say, and then I'll talk for 17 minutes. <laughs> no. Um, I just want to thank, want to thank administration. Want to thank uh, anybody from across the, the road that came over today. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Um, makes a difference. Uh, makes you and I different. Makes this place a family. Makes it a home. So I want to thank them guys for coming out today. Um, obviously excited for the season. You know, we look at what we have coming back. Um, eight guys that have been to the national tournament. You got three guys that have been all Americans before. So you, you know, you see a ton of potential. Um, I guess my biggest concern with our guys, and it's been since the national tournament got done, is that we continue to do the little things incredibly well. Um, that all those little things turn into big things. Um, and sometimes that means you got to get as basic as possible. Sometimes that means you have to strip everything down and, and get down to, you know, even though Bryce Tyrett leg defense is incredible that, hey, there's some, there's some little details in here that, that needs to happen. There's a little detail work that needs to, that needs to, to really, that you need to really take grasp of and it'll be the difference. Um, and then getting guys to buy in and believe in that difference. Um, you know, I think we say the same thing every year, man. I mean, you're excited for the season. You look forward to it. You look forward to the guys. I think, and some of our guys have talked about it. They, they've had enough of talking. <laughs> you know, they've had enough of the beating up on each other and enough of the work. And hey, you know what? You're right there. You're right there. You know, it's time to time to knock that wall over. Um, it's time to really break through. And you know, kind of talk about tip of the sword a little bit. Um, there's got to be that brave, that brave, brave, brave individual that's willing to be the first guy, um, not just to be on the stand, but to be a national champion. Uh, and we have guys that are capable of doing it. We do. I can see, man. I've been around. I've been around um, eight national championship teams. Uh, I know. I know what is getting put into these guys. I know how they're preparing. Um, and it's as it's as well as any of those teams. Now it's just them believing it. And they kind of gotta. They gotta be willing to knock that wall over and and really believe because um, they're right there. Uh, like I said, excited. Excited to see these guys go out and compete. And really, what I want to see have happen is. We, the things that we talk about and working on is that they take hold, that we get into a tough situation and, and guys squeezing on our head that we're able to clear hands off and we're able to kind of go to that next thing and create more offense and create more opportunities for ourselves. Um, you know, our guys hear about, oh, you know, I, you, know you and I is a pretty good team, uh, but, you know, March, eh, March, you know, not so much. And we're not worried about March, but worried about, like I said, every little thing leading up to it because those little things make a big difference. And what, I, what I'm working on and what our guys are working on is that there's zero variance in their performance. They're incredibly consistent every single time out. Um, you know, and that starts this weekend. Uh, but it started a long time ago. For some of these guys, you know, it started years ago. But now they're just paying even more attention to detail. Um, sometimes you got to dig those roots really deep. And we talk about digging roots deep. Um, and you want to see that fruit get bared, and it's time for, for them to bear that fruit, guys. It's time, it's time for those guys to do it. And really, it's just them believing and stepping over and having that, that first guy and maybe that second guy and that third guy and that fourth guy and that fifth guy that really just step over that line. Um, and they got to do it in a way that they compete. They're living it. Now they got to compete that way. Um, but do we have, we have incredibly capable guys, though. And, you know, you can kind of go up and down the lineup and you start with a guy like Schwarm who had a whole bunch of pins. Um, Obviously not happy with how he finished in, in the national tournament, um, but you start working on things. Like I said, then you bear things down, and, hey, there's, there's some body language things that happen. There's some things that happen in the practice room that you have to address, and, and really just being honest with guys and them being honest with themselves and then addressing it, and that's really what I feel like's happened. You know, a guy like Elber just being able, being able to be comfortable in scrambles, learn how to wrestle him through those positions. Um, was something that he wanted to be able to do, and now he's been, now he's been able to do. Want to get to where he doesn't feel like he has to rush to go take an attack. He's get, he sets up an attack and goes, puts a hammer shot on it. You know, Max, Max is not going to talk a lot about him being injured last year, um, but he wasn't healthy. And, you know, you don't make excuses about it. Um, and he didn't make excuses about it, and that's the great thing is we had some guys that were injured and they were beat up, a guy like Foster who's beat up and injured, and his, thumb, his thumb's all messed up, but he doesn't make one excuse. Our guys didn't make one excuse about it. They know that they have to go out there and they have to compete even with that. And that's what I, I guess I'm probably most proud of um, with our guys, how they've responded, how they took it on their shoulders last year uh, when maybe they were disappointed. They didn't point the finger anywhere else. They pointed at themselves. And then we sat down and we had, we've had some hard conversation with guys. And that you really want to get to that next step, this is what it's going to take. And guys have taken it wholeheartedly, and now they're, in, and they're living it. Um, but excited, excited for these guys. Excited for a guy like Max who, you know, he was injured and 
you know, it's a good good reminder for me as a coach uh, that there you, sometimes you have to ba- boil things down to absolute basics. And we worked on a stance. We worked on a stance for the last three months. And everyone's gonna be like, "Well, it's a college guy. He knows how to he knows how to stay in a stance." Nah, I mean, no, he doesn't. <laughs> not that the not not where he can continue to attack and move forward. Um, not those type of things. Not where he doesn't go back and where he squeezes. And I'm you know I'm getting. I'm kind of zeroing in on a few guys because we spent a lot of time with those guys. But those are the guys that, to me, are the guys that are ready to really break through. And then you get a you get a group of nine freshmen who, they're they're seeing those guys and they're testing themselves with with those guys and they're they're ready to not have there be any dip in this program. So what where we're at right now that 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 group they just wanted they want to take it to another level, um, and with kind of these juniors and seniors of what they've done and being able to try to take it to the next level. Those guys they're ready they're ready to step in and take it to that next level too. Um, 65, obviously excited to have Bryce Steyer back. Really excited to see him him compete. And, and uh, there were some things that we wanted to have happen through that redshirt year. And I know a lot of guys are like, why would you redshirt him? He's your best guy. You know what? Because you got, there's a way that guys grow. Um, and sometimes guys don't grow in the lineup. Sometimes they don't grow because they won't, they won't address certain things because they're just worried about the next thing. They're not really worried about the whole, the whole process or the whole growth of the whole pitcher. Sometimes they can only see a little snapshot because they're getting ready for the next thing. And it felt like he was able to take, take a, you know, a little bit broader look in which was really important for him to get back to connected with his team. And, and he's looked great. You know, obviously looking forward to seeing him get out there and compete. Um, and I can go up and down the lineup, but those are some guys that come to mind. Um, and excited to get those guys out there, excited to see those guys take that next step in this process. Excited for these guys to lead this program forward, and and you know we 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 don't set. I mean I don't say we don't set goals, but I mean I'm talking about these guys that we can score, plan on scoring 100 points in the national tournament. You start scoring 100 points in the national tournament, then you have a chance to win the national tournament. Um, and there's ways to do that. There's ways that you compete, getting bonus points. There's there's things that that have to happen um, for you to be able to score that many points. And that's that's what we're trying to focus on every day. Not so much the end result, but all those little things, all those behaviors, all those behaviors that are gonna help that move forward. And like the practice room, the focus that we've had has been really, really, really good. Uh, even if it gets tedious, you know, because we're talking about working on stance and, you know, like I said, I mean, I, I got my boys there nine, 10 and nine and they're in wrestling and that's one of the last things they want to work on, but one of the first things that we spend a lot of time on. Um, and sometimes with our guys, they think they have it down, but we want them to have it down when there's 27 seconds left and I have to stay down in my stance and they'll know that they can do it. So we've, we've prepared these guys incredibly well now it's just time for kind of unleash the dogs you know let them go let them go this weekend and see where they're at and then just continue to build from there um but i don't know i guess any any questions i'm certainly certainly can fly away with them